Hey guys, All right, so today I'm going to be showing you just how simple and easy it is to use revolves within virtual reality. All of these objects I was able to create in a matter of maybe five minutes. So I'm going to be showing you just how simple and easy and intuitive it is uh, to create objects like this within virtual reality. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, so once you're in Gravity Sketch, you want to go ahead and press this bottom button over here if you're using the oculus touch controllers that would be x and it's going to bring up a menu like this now there's a lot of really awesome features in here within gravity sketch but again today's tutorial is just focused on revolves because i just want to show you how awesome virtual reality is uh, for doing uh, for completing a process like this now uh, previously i used to create revolves with infusion 360 which is another awesome program uh, but after i use the revolves within uh, gravity sketch i honestly don't see myself using any other program so once you've got that menu open you just want to use the triggers to select revolve and then you want to click again on revolve with the trigger and it brings up a sub menu so now there's a whole lot of different options in here as well now with your other trigger you want to also click the trigger over here and it's going to bring up this black line um, and this black line is basically a reference point so you'll see if i hold the trigger i can make it either horizontal or vertical so i'm just going to be placing it there and it's like a reference point so this um the circle that you see over here is basically going to be our revolve and with the other trigger over here if i move my joystick to either the right or the left it determines its thickness and if i bring up that menu again by pressing x like i said and press the trigger again to go into the revolve menu there's a bunch of different options over here uh, you can use the standard input mode which is just like a standard sketching and drawing option and again as you can see it really is that simple guys i'm just holding the trigger and drawing out revolves uh, like this and then moving them but i'll be getting to that and explaining uh, exactly what i'm doing over there but it's really simple and again with virtual reality it's immersive because we are within this 3d space and um yeah, it just makes the process of creating vol uh, revolves uh, really, really intuitive. And uh, whenever you see a green bar like this, this means I can actually move and dock uh, this palette so it's no longer attached to the controller. So now it's within my workspace and I can just move it to the side over there. Okay, so like I said, we're going to try out the mixed input mode. And again, to create a revolve, as long as you've got your reference line over here, you just have to hold down the trigger and drag it up. So I'm just going to be creating some random shapes. Here we go. Let go of that. Let's maybe add on to that. Drag that out. Bring it in. And let go of my trigger. And there we go. We've created a revolve in just a matter of seconds. And again, like I said, it's very, very intuitive and immersive because, again, we were within this 3D space and I can just draw a reference in this black line so if i want to select everything so again with the analog stick the right and left direction is going to uh, determine either the thickness of your brush or the thickness of this line over here for our revolve but if we press up or down you can see whenever i hover over here this red sphere is determining what's selected so if i press up on that analog stick i get to select everything and if i hold this bottom trigger i can now move it out of the way and if i wanted to resize this I want to make sure I'm holding on both of these bottom triggers on the controller and I can resize it and now just move it off into the other space. So that's the mix input mode. It's more of a, um, how do I say, a more free form, but just free way of creating these revolves. I'm not constrained uh, to any type of points, uh, even though everything within Gravity Sketch, you can edit with points, but this one just feels more free form just feels like a more artistic um, way for creating revolves. So again, as you can see, really simple and easy to do, All right? If I was creating revolves in another program, not like another 3D program on my computer, uh, I'm probably going to have to draw like sketching profiles and all of that. And uh, this process just makes it really, really quick and really easy. So I highly recommend doing revolves within virtual reality. So again, the other options we have over here, um, we can actually determine the revolves uh, rotation and we've got a live preview at the top. So it's gonna be showing us 
exactly the result you will get. So if I draw out a revolver right now, you can see exactly the type of result we'll get before we actually draw it out. So to undo that, I'm going to press this red button that you see on the controller, and that'll undo that selection. So I'm going to make sure I'm doing a 360 revolve. And um, the point mode is uh, probably my favorite mode for doing revolves because it just feels a lot more precise. So you'll see whenever I draw out revolves, it places these points at every intersection. And let me just do that again from the beginning. So it draws out these points. It just makes the process a lot more uh, precise. So now if I double click that trigger, it will actually cap uh, the shape. All right. So the points, point mode actually caps uh, these objects for you. Now the pencil mode is similar to point mode in the fact that it feels like it's constrained by these points. You don't see the points right now, uh, but you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when you try it. So if I'm trying to draw out a bowl, I'll click, place another point, click, place another point, bring this down and double click again, and we are good to go. So just really quick and really intuitive. Now, another awesome thing about Gravity Sketch, like I mentioned earlier, is that everything in here actually does have points on it. It's just we have to enable that. So I'm going to come back to Pencil Mode. Let's decrease the thickness of the shape. And let's draw out... Maybe something like this. Drag that down, double click my, um, my trigger. Now, if I actually want to see the points on this revolve, I want to make sure I'm holding down that bottom trigger. And on the other controller, you see these uh, white dots with that blue connecting line. So if I, I press the, the blue button, it's going to take me into kind of like this point mode. And now, as you can see over here, I've got all of these points. So when I hover over these points and I press this bottom trigger, I can actually manipulate the shape. So I can come back in here and actually further refine uh, this revolve. So again, this makes the iteration process uh, for doing stuff like this so easy, so intuitive, and uh, it's really, really an amazing tool. And again, in here, we can actually determine the revolve's uh, rotation, or we can determine its thickness as well. And uh, there's some other options here, uh, like mirror. I haven't played around with this too much, uh, but we can actually change the shape of our revolve within this area as well. So again, iteration process is done uh, really quickly. We can simplify points, so it's going to be reducing some of the points on there. Or if I select a point, and you see that red button? If I select a point and press the red button, it will delete that point as well. Or if we actually click, if we right click the trigger over here, we can add points uh, onto our selection as well, as you can see. Now that's being placed inside. But yeah, so we can add points onto our selection. And then once we're done in here, uh, all we have to do is click on that blue button again, takes us back into this space. I'm going to resize that and place that there. So again, you can just see how intuitive and how simple it is to create revolves within virtual reality. Uh, when you're actually within this 3D space, the process of creating objects like this is really fun, <laughs> first of all. Virtual reality is amazing, uh, but just the fact that we can create revolves like in a matter of seconds is, I think this makes us an invaluable tool. So yeah, that's like the basics of Revolve. That's basically all you really need to know. You've got your three different uh, modes over here. Uh, I like the point mode, uh, pencil mode. I'd say actually pencil mode is probably my favorite mode. So let's try something else. So we can start off with the square even. So I'm double click just to get rid of that. So let's drag something out here. Come up, click. Click, click. Again, I'm just creating something random. And double click. So, probably drew that way too large. 
but uh, yeah, that that could be something. So again, just makes the process of creating objects like this really, really simple. So that's the basics for doing revolves within Gravity Sketch, guys. And um, if you've got a virtual reality headset, I highly recommend Gravity Sketch. And if you create in revolves, uh, give this a try. Uh, try and yeah, give the Gravity Sketch revolve a try, and see if you enjoy it. Uh, because honestly, this for me just speeds up the process for creating revolves instead of drawing a whole lot of uh, profile sketches and lines and all of that. And the fact that there's point, there's a point system, um, makes this really really cool. Click, click, double click. And again, like I was saying, you've got that point system over here. So if I hold this, press the blue button, I can see my points again. And I can continue manipulating that shape. Really cool. And then there we go. So as you can see, you can create a whole bunch of these props really quickly and really simple within Gravity Sketch. Right, so that's just going to be a quick demo for today, guys. Um, hopefully, I'm going to be doing more of these virtual reality tutorials. I've got a lot of uh, different art apps that I've been playing around with. Uh, but in the meantime, that's how you create revolves within virtual reality. Super easy, and it's a lot of fun. So go ahead and give this a try. All right, so as always, Thank you for watching and <laughs> let's do this and oops, let me change the color over here and goodbye. All right, <laughs> see you guys.